And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Twisted Sin, Twisted Fate, Lee Sin. This deck was a real fun one to play. Played it about a week ago. Lots of card draw, just lots of um, decisions to make. So real interesting games um, and everything like that. And so I want to play it again on Ionia Day. I'm going to be putting in the third Lee Sin. We played two Lee Sin and one Fizz last time. But Lee Sin is really our way to finish games out for the most part. Especially um, a leveled up Lee Sin, the challenger doing the whole Dragon's Rage bit. Um, that's really how we're going to be finishing games. And so having just two of them made it kind of difficult to go find. If they had like an answer for one, difficult to draw into. So we're going to play all three Lee Sins this time. Besides that, keeping everything else the same. Um, but like I said, lots of card draw in here. You know, Pilfer Goods, stealing their stuff, Salvage, Deep Meditation. You know, then our other cards are drawing stuff. Zap Sprayfin draws, Shadow Assassin draws, um, Black Market Merchant draws. So we have lots of uh, card draw. We got the Warning Shots in here. I remember I was really impressed with the Warning Shots last time. They can trigger our Plunder for the two Plunder cards, Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods. But they can also just be used as zero mana burst um, spells for Lee Sin. You know, how you need to have a lot of spells for Lee Sin. And, and burst is, in particular, very valuable. So let's get let's get to it. Um, let's play some Twisted Sin. And going to go play five games over in Ranked. We'll give this deck a try. Yeah, lots of decisions to make, so it's a it's definitely a fun one to play in that regard. If you're like a person that likes control decks, like this definitely plays as a control deck. Um, yeah, let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. If you like control decks, if you like drawing lots of cards, having a lot of options, this can be a deck for you. So. We spend Warning Shot and Pilfer Goods to draw two cards, but that is playing two spells. So playing two spells in a turn turns on Deep Meditation to make that co cost three mana. So I could do Pilfer Goods on turn two, Deep Meditation on turn three. Um, Don't get in my way. But we also need to play we also have to play to the board, especially with this fast start. Cool. They'll never see me Silver Wing Diver. But good. Found a found a one drop. I can trade with the tracker. just play Shadow Assassin. It's probably better to get a 2-2 two -two and play and draw one card instead of draw two. You can tell how fast we can level up a Twisted Fate, you know, if we go like Deep Meditation, Salvage, Black Market Merchant. We could level that thing up pretty quickly. Alright, so Lucian's at two. Yeah, we have played Zed Hec Hecarim Zed Ephemeral deck. They're as good as dead. You're adorable when you're Oh no. Dead. Saying oh no because I wanted I really wanted to gold card kill Lucian with the gold card. Um, I'll go find some stuff for you. You're bluffing. Here you go, Zed Hecarim Ephemeral. Ooh. 
All right, make it rain. So I was basically, I was blocking there so I could go another Twisted Fate red card. Now I can make it rain and then Black Market Merchant. Yeah, let's just make it rain. Okay, it does not level up. Do not fear the shrouded path. I never disclose my sources. So it's still, I would love to gold card kill the Zed. Not sure that's going to work. That's what I'd love to do. Twin Disciplines is a great draw. If they go straight to combat, I can uh, make this a 2-5 and block the 3-2 uh, quick attack with that. Push back the darkness. All right, gold card. I'll still take out Zed. And we still have the mana for Twin Disciplines. Ah. The attacking is so quick. Can I take eight? Probably can't take eight. It's a lot of damage. All right, two Lucians, one Zed are out of here. Slow down, will you? I mean, I guess the Silverwing Diver blocks Greenglade Duo. Not profitable to attack with Grizzled Ranger anymore, so we won't. Can I not block with Twisted Fate and stay alive? I mean, I guess I can. I can go to go to two. Purity and peace. Yes, don't don't attack with that. Just yeah, don't attack with that. Why like why would you not attack with that? I don't I don't know why. 
but I'm glad. Um, Like, why is this thing not attacking? That is awesome for me, because I would have just taken it. I would be at two. No. Darn. So close. I mean, I think I think if they don't have that rally, I think that we win this, right? Like we uh, we level up Twisted Fate this next turn, um, and then we just yeah, like like their stuff's dead. Darn. Windfair Hatchling plus Rally is really strong. That's really strong. The two of those together. GG's. They didn't have one of those two cards. We would have been just fine. Maokai Hecarim, huh? That was a good game, though. That was a good game that we just played. Black Market Merchant. Monkey Idol. that sure about it. I suppose they will be. Make it rain and hope we hit this sapling. Um, which I guess so. I guess so. I could. Um, oh no, we can't pair that with Grass the Undying, can we? We could pair it with like a Twin Disciplines to save something. Let's play the Spray Fin first so we get that attune mana. We I mean, might as well do it during combat, right? I don't think there's really any 
any upside of casting it right now. Just do it during combat. Kill those. Okay, we got rid of one of them. Saved his saved his spray fin. I want to kill Maokai, but I just can't. I could attack him with everything. The dragon remembers. <laughs> Basically train, train one of these. Good. And I didn't want to play the Grasp of the Undying during combat because I didn't want them to... I didn't want them to, like, respond with, like, a, a vile feast. Something like that. They killed the little 1-1 one -one and then we didn't actually kill the Maokai. This was created by the Warden's Prey. They don't just have that in their deck. It's a PNZ card anyway. All right, time to draw cards. Um, probably. Well, they're certainly going to attackers. They're not going to just pass turn. Everyone's a guardsman. Gosh, that is so good. Adam with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Adam. Oh, that's so good. Opponent just did there. Kills my other two. Um, sub number three on the day. Kill these things. All right, so we're gonna be bouncing Neverglade Collector. That's four of my mana. I got an additional four mana. I can either... Looks so like this is happening. And then I can either, let's see, like Twin Discipline, save one of these things. Or... Or draw two. And I don't know which one I would rather do. I don't know if I'd rather save one of these with twin disciplines or draw two. I think draw two. Or I guess I guess I could have waited on the draw two. I didn't have to play it right away. Because then maybe they do something that I want to will Vioni again. They have extra mana. All right, but that is two spells in the turn. So meditation goes down to three mana. We make a draggling. Never mind, we don't make a draggling. Making draggling and then pumping it up with like twin disciplines could have been nice. Mm. 
Why can't I have... Five mana. I guess I can't have five mana. Alright, so we have to go... Blue card. Blue card, blue shield. Alright, we're going to have to bounce that. Which is not good. Because if I bounce that, I don't get to play all my other stuff. Within my grasp. Oh, good attack. No, I haven't played any Draven Lee yet. What does he want from me? I mean, if I bounce that, they just replay it before the next combat step anyway. Two of my spells or two of their spells that cost both cost one less. What am I looking for in my spells? Another Will of Ionia, basically. I'm gonna go with my spells here um, because that thing costs three. Like the next turn, it wouldn't cost three anymore. All right, bounce, block. I take two, go to seven. Soul Shepherds. I'm going to keep Twin Disciplines to protect Twisted Fate that's at 7 out of 8 right now. <clears throat> and that's why. Mm. I just had the other two Grass the Undyings. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. Round ten. Come, the journey ahead is long. The shadow approaches. The dragon spirit awakens. Get him, Lee Sin. Get him. So that's why I liked leading with the one, you know, I didn't want to lead with Lee Sin because maybe they'd do something different. So I wanted them to, I wanted to lead with the one mana thing because I could still play Lee Sin and the spell. And now if they have another Hecarim or Rekindler, bring back Hecarim. Ooh, I guess, I guess I can stun it. Um, do I want to stun or recall? Hmm. 
uh, recall, right? Hmm. Go stun. The problem with stun is that they have some other way to put in. Um, oh yeah, I mean I could just play you. I'm gonna keep Will of Ionia. If they had another way to, to put in ephemerals, they have two sharks. They need vengeance. No vengeance, no win. All right. One and one. It's a fun deck to play, you know, like I talked about. Like, you just get to draw so many cards. You have so many decisions uh, to make. Pretty sweet deck. It's not like the absolute best deck, you know, like it has its weaknesses, but. Um, we got we got to do some really cool things in there. All right, so we're playing against Elise. Let's get rid of Disciplines. Um, I mean, I could see this retreat being a pretty decent with like Bouncing Twisted Fate. And everything. I, I'm just gonna get rid of it though for now. We need to find like Will of Ionia because you know we have to be worried about. Uh, um, they who endure atrocity. Yeah, what, what I would have been most worried about with playing uh, uh, Twisted Fate, I was worried about another Blighted Caretaker. I know just the place. Hmm. I think this is going to be a problem. Yeah, at least it's going to be a problem. Alright, so basically playing this, nice. Basically playing this to be my second spell. We get a Draggling. I definitely just wanted to hit Elise. That was the most important thing. So we get a Draggling. We can play the, the Caretaker. Kill said Draggling, get Saplings. <laughs> All the Ings. Get rid of Draggling, get Sapling. And attack there instead. Alright, I'll take it. So I think this is a good turn to just draw two with deep meditation, but yeah, maybe, I guess I should probably wait for that for Twisted Fate to be in play, shouldn't I? Because of course this is going to go back to being five mana 
and I don't have any other spells, so it's just going to be a five mana card. Um, let's see, if I play Deep Meditation next turn, we're looking at nine, or sorry, five mana. Which could be Eye of the Dragon plus Shadow Assassin. Mm. Yeah, sure. I don't really need that one three in play. Seven. I am worried about they who endure. Basically, I don't really want to attack, and they get to block and have two more things die, and then have an even bigger they who enter. Kind of want them to make decisions first. Uh, or they just get a never gling, never glade collector, and that's even worse for me. So we're going to get Draggling next turn, but Draggling doesn't block Mist Wraith. Dang. I was going to sacrifice that to, to Ravenous Butcher. Guess I sacrificed the Shadow Assassin, I guess. I think I need these. You know, I got to block these uh, Mist Wraiths. Twin Discipline's a good draw. I really hope they don't have another Vile Feast. Okay, good. They're tapped out. That's good. So I'm going to make this a 5 power lifesteal. So we're going to block 
So we take one, we take three. We stay at five. Dang. I could not block here, and then we go to six. The lesson begins. Definitely in trouble. Just need Will of Ionia. We haven't found any Will of Ionias. That's the card I need. I don't want them to be able to get more blockers first. Oh gosh. So that means I can't play two spells, because if I play two spells, I get red card, you know, Twisted Fate red card. And I die. Um, yeah, they've, they've really designed this well against Twisted Fate red card. So I got to. Gotta find Will of Ionia. Soak it in. I just can't even play stuff. <laughs> I play anything I lose, so pass turn. Will of Ionia? Nope. That's unfortunate. You know, like just the the non the non combat damage. You know, like we could survive combat forever. That non combat damage from the Never Glade Collector and having two of them, I just couldn't couldn't survive. Could not survive. That was good. It was also just a, a really good hand for them, you know, they had one drop, then Elise, and then um, and then the Frenzied Skitter, and then they had the other, you know, then the then the, the multiple Mistrates, and then the Neverglade Collector, Neverglade Collector. Uh, not great for me. I don't mind these cards. Yeah, they had two Neverglade Collectors, and so if I play anything, uh, the I would get Twisted Fate's red card, which would 
cost me the game on the spot. Couldn't afford to play anything. <laughs> I do think I do think Neverglade Collector is overrated, but there's there are certain times where it can where it can dominate. There's a lot of times where it does nothing. People remember people remember like those games where it dominates a lot more than the than the like three of the other you know like three out of four times where it's not doing very much. Or it's either stuck in hand because you had to like play everything else, or you know if you're ever behind, or um, they kill your other things. Uh, I don't know. I've been. Dangerous waters. Hmm. How are they still passing? Like, what do they want me to play something, and then they were gonna play stuff? I guess so. Like I thought about just going back to my turn. I should have just gone back to my turn. Dang. We are a really good uh, pilfer goods and black market merchant deck, like playing against it. Like they, they have a lot of awesome stuff they can steal from me. That's those are really good cards to have. I'm not greedy. My no. Friends, though. They stolen four cards. Yuck. The order rewards its faithful. India needs you to pay up. Lots of deep meditations. That's lucky. So killing the two, one tough or one health, and doing one damage to me. It's turn on plunder. So that was my make it rain. It's one of the four cards they grab from me. Um, it's either draw two. Or Twin Disciplines, this Navigator. I think we probably just need the two cards. Probably just have to start playing these Deep Meditations. <clears throat> No, I'm going to be taking a big hit here. It's a good turn for them. There's plenty of killing there. Ouch. Ouch. That was the two cards they just stole. Wow. To get rich. Within my grasp. What a turn. Get on the claw. You cannot escape. Yeah, it's pretty awkward drawing all three deep meditations. That was not not good. That was not good. Master yourself. Master your enemy. I'd really wish on turn three I would have just pat like they passed to me. Really wish I didn't play my scout thing and I just um 
that would have been a that would have been a big thing of them not using that three mana and not playing you know they played three cards they played make it rain black market version pilfer goods just like the perfect turn three and i could have had them completely skip that turn the enemy quivers with fear safety will cost you my land Well, it doesn't work like that. That's a plunder card. <clears throat> plunder is not summon. So gonna be difficult for us to stay alive. Going down to four. No, that wasn't a more powder. That might have been, you might have saw just the, the black marker. Maybe we're talking about the black marker merchant in hand they put back into their hands by the retreat. Or, or is it just a visual? When, okay, when retreat was played. It, it looked like a more powder for a split second. Okay. There, there may have been a... Um, there very well may have been a, a bug like that. They fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Their hand is incredible. I feel like they haven't been optimizing their hand. But it was incredible. So I'm only going to take one card with Pilfer Goods, but I'm playing it because it's a second spell for this Eye of the Dragon. This uh, Eye of the Dragon also helps out deep meditations. You know, all that kind of stuff. The order rewards its faithful. So we need to play two spells next turn to level up Lee Sin. And if if they haven't taken Breathe out. We could potentially kill them here if they have not taken Will of Ionia from me. But they could just have Will of Ionia. No, they haven't drawn deep meditation from us. We know they haven't done that. Cast Will of Ionia, target this thing. No, I don't 
Attack two spells. Okay, they still have four mana up. I'm going to go for the win because if we don't win here, we're in, we're in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to go for the win. Unfortunately, I still have Will of Ionia mana, but hopefully I didn't steal it. Come on, win. Going for it. Rain from a cloudless sky. No. Does that kill me? I think that does, doesn't it? Uh Both make it rains hit me. And then they had the two warning shots. Dang. <clears throat> really amazing hand for that matchup for them and I learned that turn three, I should have just passed. Should have passed, but still, they played what? Um, at least two black market merchants, pilfered goods, and Yordle grifters that both hit. At least two of each of those. Maybe they had three of one of them. It's a good deny matchup, but not for like later. This is like a playing for late game hand, right? Okay, make it rain. That makes it that makes this better. Now we're basically about to do what our opponent did to us the last game. Uh, you missed the Zedjuani deck. My deck is good. I like I really like that Z20 deck. Okay, Withering Will, worst card to steal. Vengeance, good card to steal. Alright, unfortunately we've taken two Withering Wills. Damage doesn't matter. Right? Like, there's no way that two damage matters. And I don't love either block. Probably should have waited till I had. I probably should have waited one turn and then be able to miscall it back, shouldn't I? Alright, well I have 10 cards, so we gotta play stuff. Um, Cause I just go Eye of the Dragon. Yeah, I'll just go Eye of the Dragon. Yeah, we did draw all sorts of removal from them. And not the good ones. Withering Whale is the actual worst card to draw. Alright, cool. You don't kill Eye of the Dragon? That card doesn't do anything. 
Sure, these, these cards are a lot better. You can kill that one. I'm fine with that. Hmm. Don't really want to see a Karma this turn. I couldn't really keep up mana to kill a Karma because I had to play something. Oh, well, they had Karma. So now I need to play something to give Lee Sin Challenger. But I don't really love any option. I'll just play this thing. Yeah, I'm not too worried about my life total for a while. Yeah, with all this life, uh, this life steal that we have, wait, uh, all this heal. Don't really like any play. Yeah, maybe I should have just passed instead of even attacking. And don't really want to try to level up their Thresh. Yeah, you're right. It was just two damage that I was getting in. I probably should have just passed. We had more useful cards. Shouldn't let my twisted fate die so easily. OK. 
Okay. So you're telling me I get to replay Shadow Assassin. All right, gotta play something. Get a card out of the hand. Sure. It's not bad targets. I'll take that. Gives me the ability to uh, kill the Thresh with Challenge next turn. We've killed one Karma. Getting rid of a second Karma would be huge, so they couldn't have the repetitive Karmas. But I guess they have Rekindler, so they can still have repetitive Karmas because of Rekindler. Oh, nice, Matthew. You're going to Top Golf this Father's Day. My Enter your that is a great time. Awesome. Have fun. Yeah, I know. I like. Yeah, I like Top Golf quite a bit. I, I like golf. I really like golfing. That's probably my favorite sport to play. So yeah, that's awesome. I like regular golf and more than top golf. Not only it's it's actually cheaper, and <laughs> top golf is so expensive. But I like being out. Uh, you know, I like being out on a golf course and everything. <laughs> well, there you go. It's about it's about having fun. It's okay if you're not good. It's okay. That's it's that kind of sport that it's not like a team sport where you're affecting other people. They just go have fun. That's all that matters. Wow. I mean, sure, I guess. If that's what you want to do. I really don't like my Shadow Assassin. Where there is life, there is hope. Wait, you think I'm not killing that thing? All right, how do we want to kill that thing? Because we're definitely killing it. So that's this is great for us. My opponent's just like lost patience, I guess. Let's use a Lee Sin's Dragon Rage. This is a real slow spell instead of vengeance. Conflict is all in the mind. Keep up, keep up. So that's amazing. So now two karmas are dead. They could still have, you know, like rekindler and that kind of stuff. But that is great getting two two dead karmas.
All right, just get out of here, Thresh. Never mind, you can stay Thresh. So do I want to Withering Wheel or draw two? Withering Wheel would take these out. This would also die, so that'd be three <clears throat> for Thresh. See if I draw two, that'll put us down. That'll put us to nine cards, so we'll still be fine. Card wise, patience is underrated. I'll just withering whale. I don't know, maybe I'll regret not drawing two. So, we're gonna try to do the whole dragon's kick, dragon's rage thing on the thresh. I think we understand where conflict is. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, bringing karma back. Karma back. <clears throat> We're going to keep Dragon's Rage in. So they could have like twin disciplines to save it. Sure, who do you want? Fresh, that's cool. So I put warning shots in this deck in case my opponent stabilizes at one. That's why I play this card. In case they stabilize at one, we got a warning shot. That's the only reason why it's in the deck. For those scenarios, right there. <laughs> no other reason. <laughs> Zero mana, deal one to the opponent. A little gut shot. All right, so that's uh, that's Twisted Sin. This is a fun deck to play. We played a lot of fun, interesting games. Didn't all go our way. Um, you know, had some... Uh, yeah, like they didn't all go our way. Um, you know, lots of decisions to make every single game, though. So, you know, you really have control over, uh, over the games. Um, real fun one to play. It's not, it's not like the very best, no. But if you like control decks, drawing lots of cards, playing lots of stuff, um, your decisions, making the difference between winning and losing, give this one a try. And if you do, leave those comments. For those of y'all on YouTube, leave those comments. Let me know how it goes if you give this deck a try yourselves. Um, I'd appreciate that. And of course, hit that like button as well. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching some Twisted Sin, and I'll see you for the next video.